Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and welcome back to the channel and the Bluefield Sports Gun Room because I've got another gun to review. This is a Lantac LASF 15. Now I'm sure many of you have already seen my very opinionated videos on the company overall, but I've never really been a critic of their products. I've, I've shot a few of their guns in the past, but a number of you have requested a full unbiased, impartial review of the guns themselves. So I'm gonna leave my, let's say, differences out of it at the moment between myself and the company and focus just on the product. So the, the SF-15 is their base model gun. They have a standard variant and on their website that's listed as a 16 inch barrel with a 12.5 handguard. And then they have their compact which is what I have here. Now, on their website, it says 12.5 inch barrel and a 12.5 inch forend and handguard, but this is actually a 10.5 and it's their Sparda forend and it's the Sparda that comes on both the compact and the standard. It's got the very standard Magpul furniture, so Magpul stock and grip, and you can probably see quite obviously there, there's a few upgrade bits. So we've got the Magload ambidextrous mag release and the 30 degree ambidextrous safety with the 2-2 rail mounted breech flag on top and also the 3D printed 2-2 muzzle brake. But apart from that, the gun is completely uh, standard and just holding the gun, looking around it, the build quality is superb. I cannot fault the fit and finish and the overall quality of the rifle. I've never doubted that these are high quality, well-made bits of kit and it's always just been maybe the customer service that I've been a bit more critical of. But even as their standard variant, that starts at £1,095 and the compact starts at uh, £1,270, which I think is really, really impressive for sort of a, a built from the ground up AR-15. Uh, for that sort of money, you're looking at, you know, easily a Tipman or the Chris Defiance as well. So I think it's really, really well placed. It's certainly at, say, the top end of the off-the-shelf AR-15 22s here in the UK. Uh, certainly not as cheap as, say, the Smith & Wesson 1522, but this is a, a full metal, full mil-spec rifle. And unlike the Tipman and unlike the, the Chris Defiant, um, it is fully mil-spec, so you can actually convert these quite easily over to 223, which brings in a great option for people that want to train in the UK and compete on the international circuit. You can have the, the same base gun with all of your, your base setup and just swap out the conversion, put on a 223 barrel, and you can get really good training on the 22 and then go and shoot 223 internationally. So talking about the conversion, whilst this is effectively a 223 mil spec AR, it has a 22 rimfire barrel and it has the CMMG bolt in it, making it 22. It also has, which I quite like, the Smith & Wesson 1522 mag adapter. So you can use the 1522 magazines. These are really well proven, really reliable. I can't fault them. I've still got original ones that came with my 1522 from about five, six years ago. So they do last very, very well and take a lot of abuse. We did go down the range with it and I put probably 100 to 200 rounds through it. So not a complete test of reliability, but this gun was uh, purchased and kindly brought down by a subscriber who has said that he's had faultless reliability from it and really can't fault the rifle overall. One thing that I did notice maybe a little bit of a minus for me personally is it does seem to suffer slightly with the, the buffer tube issue that I have with the, the Tipman. So with it being a 2.2 and the, the buffer tube not really doing and buffer spring not really doing a huge amount, you do get a little bit of twanging while you shoot it. It's nowhere near as bad uh, on this Lantac as it is the Tipman, uh, but it still is noticeable. You can hear it and sort of feel things going on. Really, when you get into com competition, when you sort of get into your mindset, that's gonna melt away. It's not gonna affect how you shoot it, but something to, to be aware with. A few things that I forgot to mention while filming this video, it's got a fully operational dust cover and forward assist. The forward assist is gonna be really important if you do want to convert it to 223 down the line 
and the trigger. Now the trigger wasn't horrendous. From what I can see, it was a standard mil spec one and I would highly recommend either going for an upgrade from the factory. Lantac do make their own triggers, so that's certainly an option to explore or budgeting in for a, a drop-in trigger when you receive the rifle. Like I've always said, I cannot fault the gun. I think overall, I can highly recommend it over a Tipman. Um, personally, I would much rather go for the Lantac over the Tipman. It's a, a little bit of a closer match with the Chris Defiance. I would say that the Lantac does pip the Chris Defiance. I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna strongly disagree with me on that. Um, but there is, unfortunately, another consideration you do have to make, which isn't the, the isn't anything to do with the product, but more the company. So let's tell the story of, of this particular rifle and, and how it came into possession of its current owner. So it was a four month wait for um, the subscriber that has bought this down. He said that he was completely happy with the whole process. He knew what he was getting into in terms of the weight and Lantac were you know, really easy and sort of smooth to deal with. They told everything up front, how long it would be and stuff like that. Um, and the communication was good. Now, whilst he waited four months, there were people in the same uh, batch that did actually wait up to 10 or 11 months. So it really does depend when you buy the rifle and in, in what point of the sort of distribution cycle Lantac are. You could be very lucky if, if guns have just arrived into the country and they have some to sell, then you might be able to pick one up in a few weeks, maybe a month. If, you, if you've just missed that slot, you could be looking at a, at a longer waiting period. Um, but also the subscriber have said that um, Lantac are making changes and trying to reduce that waiting time. So we have to see whether it it improves but from everyone that I've ever spoken to with a Lantac you know six to twelve months does seem to be a fairly standard waiting period so whilst the rifle I think overall is better than the Chris Defiance it's very easy to go and pick up a Chris Defiance from pretty much any gun room loads of them keep them in stock and once you've got that money for a rifle burning a hole in your pocket I know it's certainly very hard to, to wait and not go and buy something but that's that's gonna have to be a decision that you're gonna have to make. You know, I don't want that to sort of skew the, the overall review of just the product that I have in front of me. If you are gonna be parting with, you know, 1,200 pound, you're gonna to want to know what you're getting into. And I'm sure many people, as the, the owner of this rifle is, are gonna be completely happy waiting that period uh, to, to get a rifle, which I think overall is the highest quality off the shelf 2-2 rifle you can. Uh, you can buy here in the UK. And as well, again, with all the flexibility of the, the potential 223 conversion, uh, I know there's a few people that are shooting 22 out of 223 barrels. That could be a possibility with this rifle. You put a 223 on there, you can use the conversion kit, swap that out for a 223 bolt, and you're gonna be good to go with um, you know, a 223 upper. Obviously it's gonna cause maybe a little bit of difficulties with your licensing and what ticket and slots you have open, um, but that's always, you know, fairly straightforward to get get round uh, if you know what you're doing. So yeah, overall, uh, and I'm sure it's gonna come to a, a shock to a lot of people, it's a big thumbs up from me for the Lantac SF15. They do make the sort of higher quality Raven, which is over 2,000 pounds starting price for one of those. This is a forged construction in terms of the upper and the lower. The Raven is milled, I believe, but for around the 1,000 to 1,300 pound mark between the standard and the compact, again, comparing it to a Chris, comparing it to a Tipman, I think you'll get an incredible value for money in terms of the overall quality of this rifle. And as well, it's completely mil spec. Uh, I know that can be a big selling point for some people as well, and the Chris and Tipmans aren't completely mil spec. So there we go, guys. My full review of the Lantac LA SF 15 compact. Really hope you've enjoyed it. A big thank you to the subscriber for bringing this rifle down and allowing me to do this review. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed for future videos. And as always, guys, I hope to see you soon. Thank you.